Hello everyone and welcome back to Battle Cats. Today guys is a special day because I have made a ton of progress over the last week. There's been some treasure festivals. I've taken advantage of them. One morning I sat down for I think two hours straight and I just collected treasures. So currently, if you go back here and take a look, I have 48 out of 48 gold treasures in chapters one and two of Into the Future, which means I have, um, I have a much stronger cat army now against aliens and against black and against angels, and it's it's gonna be great, okay? Let me show you something crazy, guys. If you go in here to chapter three, I am on floating continent. And I'm pretty sure floating continent is the one before the moon. So I'm almost at the moon, guys. And today we're gonna get to the moon again. And then I'm gonna lose, because there's no way I'm gonna beat this moon just yet. I'm probably gonna need to collect more, uh, more stuff here. I do have a lot of treasures. Um, in this one as well. I don't have all the gold ones, but I have a lot of the other ones. I've got uh, the Aqua Crystal. Attacks against aliens more powerful. Don't have this one. I need Mexico and Alaska for that. I can figure that out. Ancient Tablet, Mysterious Force, Cosmic Energy, Void Fruit, Blood Fruit. Whatever this one is, I don't have it. I don't have it. Time Machine, and I don't have it. Okay, so. I might need to get some of those before I can actually complete... Um, you know, the moon, but let's just go ahead and go to the floating continent. Let me see what my loadout is right now. Okay, nice and anti-alien. Let's assume that's what we need. Let's go. Mm okay. All right, so this level is, um, angels. Great. I don't have any angels, but I do have a Monoratsu, so that's good. Chapow. Oh, guys, I got a new, uh, I got a new Uber that I've been working on. Someone tweeted to me and they said, Matt, you always say you don't have any anti-floating, but you have like the best Uber in the game for floating enemies. It's uh it's it's Megadora, and he becomes like Dragon King or something, and then he becomes uh God Emperor. And apparently if you get him to God Emperor, he is like the best unit in the game for anti-floating. At least one of the best units in the game for that. So I'm looking forward to that, okay? I really want to try him out. He's at level 10 now. I'll show you show you him later. I got a lot of XP, and I'm sure a lot of cat fruit before he gets to uh, his final form. Can I beat this angel-only level without an anti-angel loadout? Oh, I found an alien. I guess it's not angel-only. So if we have lots of anti-alien, and the angels weren't a big deal, then these guys won't be a big deal either. Look at this guy with his ugly-ass haircut. He's frozen. Freeze, freeze him again. There you go. Gotta keep this guy frozen, all right? Keep it on ice, bro. I don't want you messing up my team. You're messing up my team a little bit. Okay, that's fine. The Rhino's actually pretty powerful as well, guys. Hoping that one of these guys can die. Ugh. Oh, Aphrodite is nowhere near being able to hit these guys. There goes the Matarazu. There goes everybody. This sucks. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, I got my anti-alien loadout on, and it didn't really help that much. I can't see this being the biggest deal ever, but I feel like I need to have more of the, um... More of, of the castaway cats to stop this guy. He's pretty powerful. We're still freezing him. We just gotta continue to do that. Come on. Oh shit, there's another one? Really? Oh man, why'd you guys have to do that? If there was only one, I would uh, I would say, here's the good news. We can use God to blow them back for 10 cat food. Not a big deal. I could pull it off. I've been making a lot of cat food recently by doing all these stages because half of them have a cat, for, cat food reward if you uh, if you beat it quick enough, but this is not gonna happen. This, this is not gonna happen right here. Okay, this, it's, it's, it's over. Hmm. Well, go ahead and, yeah, all right, cool. So the angels aren't a problem. The angels are no big deal whatsoever. They just come out and then you kill them and you move on, right? So what are we gonna do? Um, hmm, let's take a look here. Well, we don't need Nurse. What if we replace Nurse with, um, hmm, I was thinking Zeus, but nah, not Zeus because we don't really need any Anti-Angel. We need Anti-Alien. Let's go with, uh, we could possibly do, um, you know, that guy. <laughs> Ultra Lamb, Pass Lamb. We could do Ultra Lamb, Pass Lamb if we wanted because of the fact that he, uh, he has this knockback freeze effect. But I'm thinking we'll actually put in, uh, oh, wait, hang on a second. Let me just show you this guy real quick. This is Holy Dragon Megadora. Pretty crazy looking dude. You'll see him later. Okay, we got to focus on this right now. Let's put Bahamut Cat in here, guys. I feel like that'll be a good idea. Is there anything else we can do? I feel like maybe, oh yeah, no, this is a good idea for sure. We need to put in some Psychos. Let's get some Psychos in here. Psycho Cat's amazing, guys. He's at plus eight. I could get this guy to level 38 if I wanted. He's only at 35 right now. That's good enough. We will replace... 
I don't know if we should, you know, I think, I think we'll replace this guy. All right, there. So this looks good. If we can get psychos and castaways out there attacking the aliens and just have a bunch of meat shields as well, maybe we can get a lot of anti-aliens before we even get to the base and then we can stop them from hurting us. Let's give it a shot. And if we need to add any kind of power-ups like a sniper or something, we can do that after as well. This, um, this is a, they give you a lot of time before you have to do anything here. So let's just start putting out these psychos, all right? They come back really quick, so you can stack them a lot quicker than you can with the castaways. Plus, they move really slowly, and castaway moves really fast. And that's kind of a big deal. Okay, here we go. Let's just, let's cut them off somewhere in the middle. I'm just gonna leave these guys as is. If they die, I'll just put more out, but, um, yeah. They, they're holding me off, which is fine. I don't want to kill them too quick. And I do have a lot of psychos stacked right now. They are really good at just stopping the enemies from getting to you. Because if you can if you can slow one of them, the other ones come out and then you can slow them as well because they'll be out in front because they're faster. And before you know it, everyone's going to be all slow and you'll have them killed. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We got to get Aphrodite out here. She'll be nice and slow. She'll get here eventually. Look at all those psychos. This is going to be good. This is how I beat Dimension of Despair, which I might show you in a little bit. All right, here we go. So... We got castaways. We can freeze. That guy just got frozen. Nice. Aphrodite is coming up around the back. They just froze this um this rhino. You can see they go really slow when they're when they're okay, I said frozen, I meant slowed. They slow the rhino down, then they froze him. When they're slowed, they are really slow, and it makes it so much better. We just gotta take these guys out quickly. And look at that, they are frozen as hell right now. This was a good strat. They haven't moved in forever. Look at this! They're all just chilling there. There's so many castaways, they can't do a damn thing. Look at this. Boom. What did I take out? A seal. Get wrecked, you seal. It's a slow process to take out these guys, but they're not moving anywhere. There's just way too many dudes in the front, slowing them down and stopping them. I can't even put out any more dudes. There's just too many. There goes one guy with a bad haircut. Let's get the other one as well. Okay, we're so close to the base right now, we should be able to actually do damage to the base. Yes, we can. Ha ha. Well, let's do that. Why bother killing this dude if we can just beat the base up instead? See? There's some damage being done. He's all the way behind the base right now, and he's slowed down. Okay, he's sped up again. Slow him down again, please. There we go. Look at that. Why kill him when you can just kill his base? His power is gone. I got a cat ticket. Oh, boy. And 250k. Oh, man. That was... That was nice. Oh. It's cat ticket time. Woo-woo. Woo-woo-woo-woo. Okay, I don't need any more of these because I've already gotten him to Island Cat. I wouldn't mind some more UFOs or dragons. I'm one away from getting, I think it's like King Dragon or something. He looks a little bit cooler. I don't think the dragon looks that cool. He looks like a Dudley the Dragon kind of dragon. And Dudley's not exactly the coolest guy in the world, you know? All right, let's take a look at Megadora now, guys. The reason I haven't exactly used him much is because he was at like level one when he started. And uh, it takes a lot of experience to level these guys up. This weekend, I will probably try and um, and get some more experience, you know, because I do want to get this guy to his true form, which we should be able to do in like a week if I uh, play my cards right and actually get all the cat fruit and stuff. How you doing, bro? See, look at that. That's crazy. He is like the lowest quality dude ever, but he looks really cool. <laughs> Seriously, dude, I can count your pixels. What the hell? Like, some of the stuff in this game is so detailed, and then they take the models, and they shit all over them. But he's he's cool. He does what, ah, some kind of crazy attack. Holy Dragon Megadora, a, an awakened ancient cat dragon. Megadora shifts the final dragon form. Area attack. Might knock back and slow floating enemies. I've used him. He's pretty good at it. Look at that. That's a giant ball, and he just, he just shoots it at him. So... If we come across any floaters, we will use him, perhaps. Let's, um... Should we take a look at the moon? I guess we'll take a look at the moon now. And, uh, the moon is probably gonna be too hard for me today, but... Um, it would be really cool if we could get it. Because if we can, if we can get the moon done, we'll get the, uh, new version of Bahamut. Which is tiny and fast. He's actually so much better. Hey, moon! It's me again! It's been a little while! Remember when I kicked your ass last time? Took took a bit, but I, I did it, okay? The last moon is the one with, um, uh, what is it, Valkyrie, Corrupted Valkyrie in it. And uh, I, I completed it recently, it's still pretty difficult. You really, uh, you really gotta plan your loadout accordingly and send out the right cats and stuff. You don't just spam cats in that one. Let's just send out this guy, all right? And maybe Psychos. Psychos and Castaways, yeah! 
Sounds like some sort of club at school. You know, for all the for all the kids nobody likes. Alright, so Psychos, Castaways, and Chill Cats, guys. I gotta put the chills out there because I gotta spend my money on something. And I want slow ones. Like, you know, these guys are pretty slow. Oh god, are you guys getting to the base already? I thought maybe some more things would come out. Oh great. Well there's a lot of there's a lot of dudes who could do a lot of stuff. We'll be okay. Let's get um, let's get Aphrodite out here before shit hits the fan. Cause shit is about to hit the fan. Hey shit! Where where are you? If the fan is waiting. Okay, there he is, guys. That is him. He look how fast he is. This is Bahamut. And look, he's he's killing them all. He's killing them all. Stop killing them all, bro. You couldn't do shit. You couldn't do shit, guys. Um. Okay. Well, that's fine. Is it just him? Because if I could find some way to maybe stop him a little bit, we might be all right. Wait, he's floating. So maybe we could use um. Maybe we could use Megadora on him. Huh. Okay, we actually hit them a little bit. That's good. I've ma I managed to put out a couple more things. But yeah, this guy is kind of insane. Stop it, bro. Stop it. You're insane, bro. I gotta look up the strategy on this one, guys. I might actually be able to do it with the proper strategy. It's gonna involve stopping this guy. But there's too many people in the way right now. It's kind of hard to do. You know? Maybe a lot of meat shields would help here. Ah! Oh, shit! Bro, that hurts! What's the boss HP at? 95. Oh, I really got him. I got you good, buddy! So there's a few different strategies, guys, and I don't really have the cats for many of them. I think I might be able to do it with enough long-range attackers and a whole bunch of meat shields. You need to have, like, four meat shields because the dude is so, so, so quick. He's, uh, he's called Raging Bahamut. That is, that is the name of the enemy. So he's going crazy, beating up meat shields. You just need to have a whole bunch of them, and then you just need to attack and hopefully the meat shields will keep him off, but I don't think I'm gonna work on that strategy today. There's a bunch of other stuff we can do. I wanted to get to the moon and take a look at it. I don't like it. I knew I wouldn't like it, and I don't like it, so let's just go to the stories of legend instead. In the last episode, guys, we got Madam Bride, and uh, I think I might have upgraded her as well. Either way, there is a Bride Awakens stage right now. Bridal Blues, and then something else after that, I would imagine. So let's do that, okay? I don't know what kind of stage it is. I should probably not use my uh, anti-alien loadout though. Let me try something else. All right, I got a loadout that has a bunch of everything, guys. It has uh, critical attack, anti-red, anti-angel, anti-alien, anti-black, anti-floating. I don't really see the point of getting anything here right now. I mean, come on. I'm just gonna keep leveling up. Let me put out like a couple of meat shields and they'll just hang out and make sure nobody touches the base, okay? I'm very, I'm very anal about people touching my base. There she- oh my god. Now that is a cool cat. I need you! I really do! Look at that! Holy shit! Now I think- I think her main thing is she's pretty strong. I don't think her attack is amazing, but um, yeah, I think she has a lot of health. So she might be kind of useful later on. Um, okay, so we got anti-red here. Well, we need anti-red. I have apples. Who wants an apple? There's one coming up right here. Oh, damn! Look at all these black ones! Shit, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of different enemies in this one. I feel like it might actually be hard to beat the next one. Because the next one's probably gonna be insane, right? If this one's an expert stage. I can get past this one, but I might have to come back here with the treasure radar rather than try and beat the next one. So I could be wrong, guys, but isn't this the cat that we're gonna unlock? Why did Bride Cat go from being a bride to being a dude with his boobs hanging out? Okay, it is taking a long time to kill this thing, guys, but I think I should be able to get it. All right, the next one, I am gonna give it a try. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Paris Cat in there and I'm gonna put some more meat shields in there because there's, um, oh, look at that, resistant, but that's okay. When that, when the, you know, the muscles come up, that means that they resisted a critical hit or um, a lethal strike. That's what they call that one. If, it, it's, if it's supposed to kill you and it doesn't, that's resisting a lethal strike. Uh, now we just gotta get rid of this guy. Come on, bro, just, just die. It's all over. You lost your big guy. Okay, so not bad for such a generic and ineffective loadout. I didn't have hardly anything that really worked there. I mean, I had I had Juliet coming out and there was no angel. She's just wasted her time. And there's a bunch of other cats I didn't need as well. Let's get in there again for the second part. Now, I'm just gonna take a quick look here. Is it guaranteed? Yep, it's guaranteed. So you can get it on the rare chance if you want to use a, uh, a radar, and if not, you can just beat the insane one. No big deal, right? And then you'll get uh, the true form. Yeah, Madam Bride. She turns into a dude by the look of it. That's okay. You know what, guys? I was gonna use Paris Cat, but let's use Mother Cat because I haven't used Mother Cat yet. She's got uh, she's got little cats sucking on her teeth. What what was she originally? Actress. Oh, okay. 
So, uh, exceptional area attack, power, and range. So, pretty much the same as Paris. So, let's put Mother in here. We want to keep the apple because we do have uh, red in the level. And we got black as well. So, we got some we got some stuff for that. We don't need Castaway. I'm going to replace him with another meat shield. All right. This looks good. We got uh, lots of meat shields. Anti-red, anti-black, more anti-black, and 10% battery remaining. I feel like I never charge my iPad, guys, and I don't. Honestly, this thing never runs out of battery. I, uh, I plugged it in for a little while today, and I charged it enough, like 25%, to make this video, and that's good enough. Here comes the mother cat. Look at that. Super weird, man. How many nipples does she have? She has eight breasts. That's crazy, bro. She's hitting, she's hitting them with a cat. Dude, you can't, that's child abuse. You can't just hit your children, with, hit things with your children. That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool. All right, here they come again. I don't think this is gonna be that big of a deal. I mean, with uh, with a more specialized loadout, this is gonna be a lot easier. Of course, we don't have a whole lot to get to get these black guys taken care of right now. I don't have a single ring girl cat in here, but look at that. That should take some of them out. Now I can get all kinds of stuff. Look at that. Everybody's welcome. Come on, let's go. Oh god, we got one of these guys coming. That's not good. I mean, I got apples, but is it gonna be enough? It better be. Dude, come on. Come on, dude, you're not even, you're not even. Okay, yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this at all, guys. We got one of those. <laughs> hey, maybe it's time I picked up this thing. Sure, I'll, I'll have a user rank reward. Yay, cat combos and energy. This time, cat CPU and sniper are going on. Okay, and I'm gonna leave the sniper on as well. If he wants to knock things back, he can. What did you just, oh. Yeah, cat CPU, not not yet. Okay, I'm not I'm not ready for you yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and save up more money this time, guys. We approached the base too quick, too many mothers. Okay, we wanted to have uh, more anti-black there, so I think with a better strategy, it won't be so bad. Let's get going. All right, I got my cat CPU on, guys. Let's see if the cat CPU can take care of this, so I don't have to. You know, look at that, pow pow pow. This looks like it's gonna be a little bit better. Need more meat shields though. Need more meat shields. Making a lot of money. That's good. Oh god. Can you can you take out take out the dudes? Take them out. There you go. Okay, nice. Knock them back. Knock them back. You got apples. We better have apples. Okay, there are some apples, but they're lagging behind. We gotta get this idiot taken care of. Come on, apple. Slap. Okay, we stopped them. We stopped them with the apple. People are getting hurt. Oh my god, that is a lot of mothers. Holy shit. Hey, keep up the good work, cat CPU. So many red. I didn't know there was gonna be so many. We just took them out. We took them out. That was great. That was beautiful. That was that was an incredible display of skill and CPU work. Ugh. Oh god, it's a camel. Look out, guys! There's a camel coming. You better, you better hurry up. You better do the thing before the camel gets you. Okay, our Ubers are gone. That's gonna make it a little bit more tricky. I mean, they'll be back in a second, maybe. They won't be back in a second because there's not enough money for them. We just don't have the budget. Well, it was fun when we tried. This is fun while it lasted. It, it lasts a little while. Uh, okay. Cool. 63%. I'm gonna say, nah, that's okay. I've got, got some radars, guys. Let's just use one. Let's go back to the expert stage, and I'll let the CPU do all the work this time. Okay, I think the CPU can handle it. Shit! Oh, I forgot to put on the cat CPU! It's too late! I can't do it now! Crap. I gotta do this myself. God, life is tough. Alright. It's done. Let's find Bride Cat. I don't even know where the hell she is. Is she a special cat? Oh, there. Wait. Yeah. So Bride Cat becomes a king. That's what happens. So, starts as a bride, bringing back those lost memories, acts as a shield using her great health. So that's pretty cool. Can also do some damage. And then, um, now that she's captured her dream man, her rulership over the home has become indisputable. High resistance and good damage. And then, she... Oh, you won't even show me? All right, well, hang on a second. It only shows you, I guess, if it's a cat fruit evolution. I should have enough, um, enough XP here, right? Oh, come on. I thought I had enough XP to get you up. I can't get you up, come on. All right, one more thing we're gonna do, guys, before we end this video, Dimension of Despair, Black Hole Rising. It's an insane level. I've beaten it, I told you about it, but I wanna show you, because this is a pretty crazy cyclone. 
and I want to use um, Megadora. I haven't showed you guys him yet. Only in the only in the you know cat guide or whatever. So yeah, this level involves stacking a whole bunch of psycho cats. Oh, and here he comes. Look at that, guys. He has super a super big range, so you can't exactly just uh, just walk up to the guy or you will die. But these guys have enough range they can slow him down. So really helpful. Come on, bro. Show him what you got. God, okay, okay, that's that's not good. Um, all right, well, it's not working well so far. Okay, you stopped him. Now, if you guys could slow him down as well, I'm gonna send out Aphrodite. See, okay, slowed him. This is very important stuff, guys. You gotta be able to slow him down. This guy moves fast, and he kills even faster. Come on, you can do it. I know you guys are gonna die, but if there's enough of you, I'm sure your legacy will live on. Keep it slowed down. We got a castaway. You can hit cast... Castaway can hit him a couple of times before he dies, which is nice. I don't know how this is gonna go. I probably should have put um, a cat uh, cat cannon, not cat cannon. I probably should have put a sniper cat in here as well, guys, but I didn't. It's okay. Keep on slowing him down, and we'll keep on hitting him. And we're probably not even gonna get a chance to use Megadora, are we? I will keep putting out meat shields, and we'll see. Okay, so here's what happens when it gets to your base. It absolutely destroys it. 89% guys, that was a bad time. Okay, I don't even know how I beat it before. I think I used like sniper and maybe also the sniper, the heavy cat as well. It was, uh, yeah, I used, I used a bunch of stuff and I managed to do it and that's not a big deal. I didn't expect to beat it again, okay? Strategies are involved and who, who's got strategies, right? All right, one more level guys because you didn't get to see Megadora. This is sniper cat, you get a sniper cat if you beat it and uh, it's just gonna be meat shields and Megadora. He's gonna go wow and they're gonna die. Look at him go, look at this guy. Okay, mm got him. Do it again, bro, do it again. He's got a pretty fast attack and uh, he's got good range on it, but these guys are moving ahead faster than he can hit things. There you go, oh nice, you got one. Moving on to the base, give that a smack. Okay, so what was that, like 10,000 damage? Not that great unless he's doing damage against the floating. Also, he's only at level 11, and I've got Ubers up to level 20 something. So, yeah, we'll get this guy to his true form eventually, and uh, he'll be really good. I mean, he's already good at knocking back and slowing, which is nice. There's no floating here to do it to. I don't know, is anything gonna come out, or are we just chilling here? You call this a hard level? I haven't seen a damn thing. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's a floating! I like it! So take them out, one at a time if you got to, sure. Uh, oh, okay. Somebody, there we go. And look, he knocked him back and slowed him. Isn't that great? Get slowed for a while too, look at that. And it's dead. What? Oh, they didn't even give me a sniper, guys. I thought that was a guarantee here. It's not a guarantee, I guess it's like a likely chance or something. Whatever, I didn't, I didn't even want your sniper cat. I got like eight of those, so you can just go to hell. All right, so that's it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. We got to the moon chapter three. It's gonna be really difficult. Over time, we will beat it. I will get more treasures. I will get more crazed cats. I will get more true forms, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.